Hello, welcome. I'm glad you made space in your day for the quick corner. Chagas. Have you heard of Chagas before? No, no, no. It's not a brand of natural gas. But if you join me in the quick corner, I'll tell you what it is. See you in a bit. Thank you that you kept watching. So Chagas, yes, what is Chagas? I had never heard about it until I was doing some research into some world days or international days that I could celebrate in the quick corner. You know how I am about celebrations. And so I came across something that said April 14th is World Chagas Day. Chagas? What is that? It's a neglected tropical disease. Yes, it's called an NTD. Well, some of you already know my mantra is we learn every day. So of course I learned something new that day. And as I kept reading, I was saddened by the things I read. One thing that stood out for me is that it is known as the silent and silenced disease. Ooh, now that was something. But as I was thinking about it, you know how my mind works, those of you who know me a bit, connecting dots. I was like, oh wow, there's a quip in my book that I can tie to something that is a silent and possibly a silenced disease. So let's go into 101 quips and quotes that will charge and change your life. Quip 80 says, if you keep sweeping things under the carpet, one day you'll trip over the bump you've created. If you keep sweeping things under the carpet, one day you'll trip over the bump you have created. Take a moment to visualize that. In some of our relationships, and erroneously in my opinion, sometimes we say, oh, let's just sweep that under the carpet. I know there are people who their default for cleaning the house is figuratively and actually sweeping things under the carpet so that they don't have to deal with it. But unfortunately, a number of people in their relationships, be it at home with their spouse or with their children or with siblings or parents, and then outside with colleagues and sometimes in the church or in other social settings, People are like, oh, no, 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 let's peace reign. Let's sweep it under the carpet. If you continue to sweep things under the carpet, before you know it, a bump will be created and you could trip over it. There are some relationships I have heard of or people I have spoken to and you hear things like, oh, it's due to irreconcilable differences. That's why people are parting ways and no longer in a relationship. Hmm. Is it possible that they had been sweeping things under the carpet? And that's why that behavior has become a silent killer of their relationship. Staying silent in a relationship is not the wisest thing to do. If there are issues, let's talk about it. Bring it out in the open and discuss it. If it's between you and your spouse, bring it out in the open in your home, in your bedroom preferably, and discuss it. And I'm sure I don't need to give you ideas on how to reconcile. 
you figure that out yourself if you're married. But the point is, too many relationships have been destroyed because people are sweeping things under the carpet. There are some times when you're talking to people and they're like, yes, I'm really upset. And you start digging in, you know, almost like root cause analysis. You start digging in and you're like, yeah, but what caused it? What caused this? What caused this? And, you know, it's like, yes, and then they did this. And then they did this. And then they did this. So you'll see all the things that had been swept under the carpet until um, there was that last straw, the proverbial last straw. That's not the way to move forward in relationships. If you're having challenges in your relationships, be it within your marriage, you know, or family relationships, or at work, and you need to talk to somebody, feel free to reach out to me. I will add my details below so you can book a time. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. Because really, there are very few things, if any, that cannot be dealt with if you stop sweeping things under the carpet. Now, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't be tolerant, but sweeping things under the carpet is not a strategy for success in relationships. It definitely isn't. So, if you have been sweeping things under the carpet, before you trip over that bump, please go bring it all out in the open and deal with it and you will be happy that you did well that's it for today thank you again for joining me if you haven't already done so please subscribe if you like this video please click like and share it i'd like to know in the comment section what you liked about the video and please keep sharing the word, spreading it. It's within your friends and family. And let's just all get on this quip corner with that train. Until we see again. Oh, until we see again tomorrow with another author. Do take care of yourself and take care of your relationships. Bye now.